guys, welcome. I'm Josephine and I'm your local guide and today we'll show you how to spend 48 hours in Copenhagen. <laughs> welcome to Friheden Bar. Thank you guys. Bye, have a great day. Well, I'm a tourist as well now. Ta-da! So this was the former Copenhagen University. So now we have the inspiration of passion and knowledge, which is young people and the ones who try to teach them something. Hi, welcome to my room. This in here is amazing. <laughs> Very comfortable. Walking around, you'll be able to see that we are a little crazy. <laughs> Good night. Okay, wait. I'll take it to surf now. Our auto room service. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. So, here we are. Well, Frelsers Kirke. From up here, you can see around 500 towers here in Copenhagen, both from churches, new buildings and old buildings. And we're also the city with most towers in all of Europe. One of 500 towers here in Copenhagen. That's a pretty cool flex, if you ask me. <laughs> this is well, I'm a tourist as well now. Okay, from here you can see some of the most distinct towers we have. The black tower over there with gold, that's Christianskirke. You can also see the city hall from here, the tall red one with the green. I only know this stuff because I have it right here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten from just here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Finding breakfast in Copenhagen is pretty easy because there's literally a bakery on every corner. Breakfast time! For 135 Danish kroner, we got two coffees, a croissant and a kemich night. We sat down by the canals in Christian Sound and enjoyed our breakfast while we were scouting tourist traps floating by. Mm. Well, on to our next stop. If you come to Copenhagen and join us for a bicycle ride, be sure to follow the simple rules we have. How are you about tourists on bicycles? How do you feel about that? Oh, that's... <laughs> bicycles is the main transportation for us here. So would you also mean it seriously in the morning, especially when the rush hour comes? It was actually 12 Italian tourists who just got out of Christiania and they were so high and drunk that they couldn't control their bikes, so they were falling all over. <laughs> and I needed to be in a wedding in like five minutes and I was late, so... Uh... So, just take care, be safe, maybe wear a helmet. Maybe, I said. <laughs> On some of the most busy bike lanes, we have these signs up here that count bicycles every day and bicycles every year. So throughout the year, there's been 3.4 million bikes here, and apparently zero today. That was one. <laughs> okay guys, so now we're at Blågårdsgade, we're in front of Kreis, which is a small store with small artists, uh, upcoming artists, you can buy their posters, jewelry, ceramics, all kind of stuff, so let's come have a look. Everything is from local artists, small artists, and they use the store here, it's a couple of friends. <laughs> Who owns the store and they use the, co they use the uh, boutique to set focus on the small artists and help them maybe create a bigger platform. So if you buy from here, you also support a huge stream for some new artists. Pretty? Thank you guys for having a look. You're welcome. Bye, have a great day. Bye bye. Okay, so we're at the Botanical Garden now, which is like an oasis in the middle of Copenhagen. So Botanical Garden is a part of the state's history museum and also owned by Copenhagen University. I have my facts on my phone because I don't know everything, unfortunately. They don't smell like anything. C'est pas vie, c'est pas vivum pitoni. You can also go around and see what all the flowers are called and what the plants are called, and there's some berries special names 
Crocus Vernus Albiflorius. That was easy. Rhododendron. So do Christians. Hmm. Close enough. People normally gather here around summer because it's really, it's really pretty now. But you should see it in the summer when all the flowers and the trees are just beautiful in the color. Isn't that? <laughs> So right now we're at the start of Super Kielen. It starts right here and ends about 750 meters that way. So let's go check it out. It has three main areas, the black square, the wet square, and the green part. And Super Kielen is equivalent to a highway, but only for bicycles, where instead of gas stations, we have bars, which will be our next stop. Welcome to Friheden Bar. This is here, where it all happens. So let's go inside and see what they can offer us. Maybe a big beer, that could be good. <laughs> What two beers would you recommend? Like, what, what would the locals drink? They would probably go for the IPA. Yeah. Thank you, Susan Tagfader. So before we checked into a hotel, we decided to take a break and grab a Fjordensøl, which is also known as an after-work beer. Yesterday we had a delicious meal. We had the pescatarian option because I don't eat meat, but we had fish and a lot of uh, different vegetables. It was really delicious and some great wine. After dinner, we were completely exhausted and therefore we decided to call it a day so we would be ready for the next. For me, I'm hungry too. <laughs> okay, so we just had a bit of breakfast, and then we read on this one that all the uh, all the food here is not just organic; it also it's also Danish sourced. The honey up here is from bees here in Copenhagen. I didn't even know we had bee farm bees farm in here. It's produced on Vestabro. Oh, well, that's good. Even though we didn't want to check out of the hotel already, we decided it was time to head out into town and experience some more. Okay, so that was it for the hotel. Now we're going to go on to our first stop today, which is a museum in Copenhagen called Glyptotegel. Our next stop is a very beautiful and very scenic museum where I, last time I visited, had the chance to dance around all alone in the main hall. So now we arrived at Glyptotegel in the middle of Copenhagen. We're in the Winter Garden right now, but you'll find here at the museum, you'll find different exhibitions from Denmark, from France, from Rome, from Egypt. And of course, you'll also find a cafe here where you can enjoy a cake, pastry. Enjoy a cup of coffee and have a beautiful view inside, but it's also outside, inside, outside. <laughs> Bicycle is gonna be my death, I swear to you. We're in a vintage store here in Copenhagen called Copen Copen Copenhagen Co Copenhagen K. This street is very popular for its vintage stores. There's a lot of vintage stores here in Copenhagen, secondhand stores. Hello. <laughs> It 
til flyvedræk. Boy Dogs. So when we don't use a bike stay in Copenhagen, we have a really good public transport system. Just like the metro here at Kongsnytown, we'll be taking it right now. We'll take the city ring this time, so come along. So the city ring contains 17 stops, and this is our first stop, Marmokirk. In Copenhagen, we have a lot of bicycles, as we saw a little earlier, and the rush hour here in Copenhagen is also very heavy on bicycles. From around 7.30 till 9.30 in the morning, from 3.30 till 6.30, is there's also a lot of bicycles here, so be careful in the traffic. Okay, so guys, now we're here on the side street to Nørrebrogade, where we're at Polette Burger Bar. Denmark is mostly known for its high-end cuisine, but we wanted to set a bit focus on something that's more cheap and convenient and easy to get. So we searched on the website, and this is what we found. And the own words is cheap, convenient, and f***ing brilliant. You can hear the crunch. <laughs> okay, that's really good. Spicy, but really good. Definitely give it a try if you're in the area. Good. So guys, this is our 48 hours in Copenhagen. We hope you will try some of the places we've been and we showed you. Because we recommend them and they are fun to try and also a bit different than just going the usual touristy places. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go like it. And if you want to see content like this in the future from other big cities around the world, make sure to also subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoyed our video and um, hope you'll come visit Copenhagen at some point.